So in this video, I'm going to recruit my friend Frank to talk a little bit about cartilage. Now, first thing you need to be aware of is that cartilage is part of the family of connective tissues. So remember in one of the videos I spoke about connective tissue, and I told you that connective tissue is one of the tissue types of the body. Remember, you have connective tissue, epithelial tissue, neural tissue, and muscular tissue, and that these four tissues of the body together will make organs and organ systems. And like I said, one of those types is connective tissue, and that connective tissue has some subcategories within it. So there's different types of connective tissue. I said that you can have connective tissue proper, which I spoke about in one of my other videos. You can have blood, you can have lymph, you can have bone, and you can have the focus of today, which is cartilage. So all of these are different types of connective tissue. Now you can tell that some of these are fluids, such as blood and lymph. Some of these are semi-solids, like connective tissue proper and cartilage, and some of these are solids, like bone itself. So what makes them all connective tissue if they're so different structurally? And that's a couple of things. First thing is that connective tissue, you can state, bind things together and supports structures of the body and connects structures of the body. So binds, supports and connects. And that's what all of these different types of connective tissue do. But in addition to that, all connective tissue are made up of certain cells, certain gels, and certain fibres. So remember, connective tissue is made up of cells, gels, and fibres. Now remember, the, the gels that we're referring to is actually something called ground substance. And ground substance I like to think of is like the jelly. So if you were to make jelly, and you would just make one plate of jelly, it doesn't have much structure to it. It's very wobbly, easy to move, easy to break apart. But if you wanted to make that jelly more structurally uh, sound, what could you do? Well, you could embed in that jelly some fibers. So you could put some pieces of wool in there and some rubber bands and some little tiny steel rods. And what you would find is if you were to embed that in the jelly, then shake it, the jelly's stronger. And that's what makes certain connective tissues more fluid and others harder or semi-solid is because of the types of gels and fibers that they contain. Now, today we're talking about cartilage. So we need to talk about what are some of the cell types that you can find in cartilage. Well, basically, cartilage is made up of chondro, meaning cartilage blasts. Now, what chondro blasts are, they're immature cartilage making cells, immature cells, and they make cartilage. And you've got chondrocytes. And chondrocytes are the mature cartilage cells that are embedded inside the cartilage itself. I'll draw this up shortly. The types of gels that you can find in cartilage, well, these gels are made up of predominantly of something called glycosaminoglycans. And basically, glycosaminoglycans, which you'll often see written as GAGs, glycosaminoglycans, are just long sugar molecules. Okay? So they're what we call polysaccharides. Poly saccharides. Now, there's certain types of glycosaminoglycans present in cartilage. These types of glycosaminoglycans include hyaluronic acid, include chondroitin sulfate, and keratin sulfate.
These are the types of gels that you'll find, or ground substance, within cartilage. Now the fibres, I've told you previously there's three fibre types for connective tissue. They are elastic fibres, reticular fibres, and collagen fibres. And the type that we're going to find in cartilage include collagen fibres and elastic fibres. So, generally speaking, when it comes to cartilage, it is a connective tissue, it's a semi-solid connective tissue that allows for our body to be able to withstand certain compressive or tensile forces, and it's made up of certain cells, gels, and fibres. These cells are called chondroblasts, and they make cartilage, they secrete these gels and fibres, Chondrocytes are the mature chondroblasts, so once it's secreted gels and fibres, they mature into chondrocytes and they sit there embedded within the matrix of cartilage. The gels, which is also known as the ground substances, are made up of glycosaminoglycans, GAGs, which are just long sugar molecules, and the three most common types you'll find in cartilage are hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfate, and keratin sulfate. And the major types of fibres that you'll find embedded inside this gel is collagen and elastic fibres. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the three major types of cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage and fibrocartilage, and where you can find these cartilage types using our boy Frank.